So hi there again everyone, welcome to my page. Today we're gonna be reviewing Mary's watercolor set and this is made in China. I bought this in Shopee from pandaonline.ph account for 550 Philippine pesos or roughly less than 11 US dollars. So what made me uh, buy this set is actually the packaging, the, the container, the plastic container which I really like upon uh, seeing some reviews on YouTube. Uh, I chose only the 18 colors so that I can soon review them to some other uh, student grade brands that I review also like the Koi which I will be reviewing next and the uh, Superior Watercolor which I reviewed earlier. So it comes with a, a cover, slip on cover which has the color information at the back so some information are written in uh, Chinese and there are stars that I believe indicate the uh, light fastness so um, most of the colors are light fastness rated number or four stars while the others are three stars so i believe the ones with uh, four stars are those which are more light fast so let's check what's inside the box so as i've said earlier the reason the, the main reason why, why i got this set is because of the container which i really like it's it feels sturdy it's light and it has it can have um can hold 18 uh, 18 colors which is uh, actually enough for me and it has a water brush a sponge that is really uh, hard and this one this is uh, is this a uh, ceramic or porcelain I don't know but it's uh, breakable and it, I really like it and it also has three shallow wells it's quite shallow but let's see if it's gonna work so for now I won't be using the the portable brush or the um, water brush instead I'll be using my own for our swatches I'm swatching on an Arches 185 cotton paper which I uh, prepared, prepared earlier. So let me just zoom in a bit for you to uh, see it clearer. Sorry. So let's start with white. They don't call it um, titanium white or Chinese white. They just say it's white. Next we have lemon yellow. By the way, as you can see, the, the, the pans are still moving in the half pan because it's still actually uh, det detachable. And if you uh, move it like that, they can, oh, they can still, you see, they can still get detached or taken out of their half pans, their plastic half pans. And let's see how the half pans look. The half pans actually have logo, two horses, the Mary's logo. But that's not a, a problem. Actually, you can just put some 
glues or tape underneath so that they won't I mean the underneath the half pan so that they can be secure in your palette and once the paints are actually uh, already used they can uh, they will stick to the plastic half pans sorry so so let's get back to swatching so that's lemon yellow next we have gamboge the gamboge is um quite intense but this doesn't look actually like gamboge it looks like yeah a mid yellow next we have scarlet and this is nice because it's really pigmented next is orange red which doesn't actually look like orange red but just a mid orange next is indian red indian red is actually light the paints actually feel quite uh, not actually chalky but they feel like um, there's something that makes it thick like jelly or what Next, we have uh, Rose that looks too light. Let's see if we can get more pigment. Okay, it's actually not that easy to re-wet. You need to uh, scrub it several times to get the pigment well. But this rose is quite, um, quite pretty rose. It's uh, pigmented and uh, it's really uh, intense. Only thing is that it doesn't pre wet easily. Next is the violet. I think we have the same issue here. It doesn't pick up easily. Unlike the uh, Scarlet, which uh, picks up very well. And this Violet is actually, uh, it's really light. Maybe that's why, it, no matter how hard I pick up pigments, it doesn't... It looks like, um, what color is that? Like near to a uh, lavender or wisteria or sorry lilac it looks like a uh, lilac next we have um, ultramarine again same issue it doesn't pick the color up right away So for the third rub, we are good. Next we have Prussian Blue. Again, same issue. It doesn't really wet that easily. But when you do it several times, you get what you want. Next is Sky Blue. It's like um, a cerulean blue. This is better. Next is green pale. It's uh, very pale as it says. <laughs> and this feels very jelly. Next is Viridian. Again, I'm ah, sorry. Again, this Viridian. Very uh, 
jelly and uh, it's thick actually it's thick when you get your when you feel it it's you know you're you're getting uh, enough but when you put it in your paper it's not registering enough you know what i mean because you know the color of the region is much more than this Next is turquoise. Is that turquoise? Turquoise or whatever. Turquoise, turquoise green. This is still light, but I like this shade. Next is yellow ochre. which is um, very light also but it's beautiful for me next we have burnt umber which appears to be also very uh, light very weak it looks oceana let me try again it's only um, up to that intensity next we have black again for the mask tone guys be careful when you are rubbing your brushes to paints that are quite hard to live with because you might damage the the hair especially if you're using real hairs or you know natural hairs lastly the gray I don't usually find gray in sets but since this is a student or a school grade the colors are yeah um, child friendly by name so they call gray black white but i'm surprised they don't have a uh, red they have scarlet instead or rose so this is our swatch of the mary's watercolor they're still wet they're not as vibrant as um the other brands or the other uh student grades that we've reviewed like the superior or the the van gogh but some colors are interesting like the uh, rose and the scarlet they appear to be the most pigmented or the most intense in this selection so earlier i prepared a sketch of a landscape that we will be coloring using our Mary's watercolor let me just zoom it out a bit okay. so as usual I will be uh, wetting the sky first and the uh, water area see i think i've already damaged my my brush just one hair strand just fell off so be careful so for this, um, let's have Russian blue. Let's 
see the colors are not that heavy so I think I can use them directly on the paper so to uh, painters who uh, paint very lightly um, this set may work well for you then let's add some purple Let's go to the water, which I'll be uh, coloring using turquoise and the uh, Prussian blue. You see the colors are actually uh, light or kind of weak so you won't have to be afraid to use the paints directly from the pan to the paper. That's fine but the problem is when you want an intense um, version of a certain color it's hard actually to achieve your expectation if this is the case. For now, let's mix the colors for our landscape. Um, I think I mean for the sorry for the mountain. Let's use purple or the violet. And let's mix it with I. I actually would want to mix this with the green but the greens are kind of very weak so uh, I am afraid we cannot achieve uh, the gray or the purplish gray grayish purple that I'd like to achieve see I'm not getting what so instead I'm using Russian blue and mix it with the uh, um, ultramarine and uh, maybe rose for a deeper purple plus uh, this is a gamboge as they say so now we have gray somewhere I think we're good with this. I think now it becomes a little muddy. Okay, let's see later if it becomes muddy. So now let's go to the landscape. So let's start coloring the distant mountain. So let's paint it lightly and not forgetting the uh, white parts to assume the uh, area where the sun is hitting the mountain next is the nearer mountain 
See, this is near but I'm painting it lightly because I will be putting some trees afterwards. not forgetting some reflection lines So now that we are done with the background colors, um, we're now to uh, put details. So um, as much as possible, I don't want to use black, but I have no choice because I want to achieve uh, deep colors for my details, especially when I use greens. But since the greens are, as I've said, kind of weak, I'll just use black and mix it with Russian blue, the most intense blue here in this selection and uh, mix it with uh, Gamboge and um, orange red. We're okay. So now we have an earthy dark green. We can now put the uh, trees in our landscape. But before that, I think that part is still wet. But anyway, this is just a demo. Let's have just a line of trees here, assuming they're distant trees. So they're not that detailed or they're not that dark here. I'm sorry, I lost battery on the process of painting the uh, the trees, but uh, yeah, this is what we achieved using all the colors that I combined: the Prussian blue, the Gamboge, and the uh, orange deep, and together with black because I couldn't achieve a dark color in this set without mixing it with black. So let's uh, continue. I tried. Um, I tried up using dry brush technique in the water, so using the mixture and it worked well, I think. So the, in this set, black is actually uh, useful, especially if you have the same style with me. So now I'm in the process of uh, coloring the more distant plants. Now let's draw some colors, color the grasses here. To show variation and and also a reflection of the landscape color uh, 
and to add more life to our painting maybe I can also add some warmth in our uh, water by adding an orange mixture Also, it's, uh, since it's warm or it's there are orange patches in the water, it has to have also warmth from the sky. So let's show it a bit here. Let's also use one of their strongest colors, Scarlet. Let's add some um, flowers in our landscape or in our grass area. So there you go, our mini landscape using the Mary's watercolor. And it's still wet. And here again is our swatch. Sorry. So overall, the colors are actually uh, intense, except for uh, the green pale, viridian, turquoise, and the two browns, the yellow ochre and burnt umber. The others are okay, but um, I find them a little bit challenging to uh, rewet. From the pan so if you're using this one or if you're getting it I think you're getting it for the container for the brush so still not a bad uh, choice if you if you uh, are just beginning in watercolor and you just want to experience it this is not a bad choice at all and when you're done with it and if you want to uh, level up or upgrade your watercolor you can buy tubes from artist great and use this uh, when they're empty you can uh, put your pins in the empty half pans of this because this is a very uh, nice uh, travel set so um, with regards to the performance yeah they, they blend actually well maybe because I'm using arches but I think they will also uh, perform well in uh, other watercolor paper as long as you combine them well and um, if you are into deep colors you might not be able to achieve the deepest of what you want to achieve without if you're not i mean you're gonna use black so here is our painting so um i've already reviewed the superior watercolor now this is the maris and the next color watercolor to review is the koi and after i reviewed the, the three watercolors i'm gonna be comparing the three of them so i hope you uh, stay and be posted thank you for watching if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe for more reviews tips and demos thank you for watching